I'm glad to have you back all here, as you can see with the new haircut, but that's that doesn't matter. Anyway, today I'm going to break down for you the process of creating a caricature from scratch. Again, in case someone wants to see more in depth. Anyway, uh, shall we proceed? Well, of course we shall. Yes, Radu, please, let's do it. Well, since you're all so eager to start, let's start, like, right now. Okay, so here we have the blank page, and on top of the background I've created a layer, and now I'm drawing lines to establish the perspective the perspective I'm gonna invoke here to create the basic shapes so for each of the characters as you can see we've got the reference next door in here I'm creating the perspective lines to know where I'm gonna lay the shape you know on top of these lines you can draw some basic forms of the head but what I usually do is jump right to the facial features. As you know by this time already, nothing is carved in stone. You need to uh, learn the fact that it will be very rarely when you will obtain results from the first time you're drawing a line. You're in the process of searching the form. It's a trial and error process. It's a back and forth process. It's a uh, keep on trying process until you manage to find the right shape. So, as you can see, I've started with Iron Mike. I've created the shapes of the eyelids. And now I'm designing the nose, the nostrils. I've put an indication of the mouth where it should be and how big it should be to fit exactly with the chat with you. Now I've established the big forms for Iron Mike and as you can see at this stage it looks pretty much as a chimp. Well that's not exactly what we want to obtain. So we're going to see what adjustments we can do so that it would fit better to his face. Now, um, I'm laying some more details I'm going to squash later. Ro squash, rotate, warp, whatever. That's the fun in drawing it digitally, you know. It, you wouldn't be able to do this on pen and paper with the pen and paper with a pen and paper what you could do is erase whatever you don't like and draw on top of it after but over here we can draw whatever we want and if it's something good in the lines we draw we can anytime warp or rotate or stretch or whatever now let's continue so as you can see it's getting into the character but it's not there yet this is exactly what you need to do and whenever it's not in the character don't get discouraged you need to know that there is nothing you can do to be that wrong that you can't continue not at this stage at least not ever you're not committed to any of the shapes. So as Nick Cave used to sing, you need to keep on pushing, keep on pushing, push the skies away. Anyway, yeah, I know I don't have much of a voice, but whatever, I'm trying. Now I took the eyes, I move them a bit lower to give his uh, forehead a shape of a stone more likely 
a stone somehow inclined to the back but also to make his nose more like as a typical boxer nose you know also I'm trying to fit as much as I can the main shapes the lips the cheeks the eyes whatever so that they could look closer in the spirit of the reference you know now the ears as you can see he doesn't have much of a prominent ear so you want to keep it to the minimum this while exaggerating the most important features and uh, yeah that's basically what we need to do it's a continuous fight of figuring out the major shape so that it could match the spirit of the reference now as you can see his head looks pretty much like an egg so we will still need to work on it but at this stage we're pretty much interested to start with Jones Jr. as well so that he won't cry for being neglected <laughs> well judging by his face I don't imagine this guy ever crying I mean uh, I I know he did at some point in his life maybe we all did but it doesn't matter now the nostrils it has a prominent nose like you can you can highlight it to cover like half of the face but it's not more prominent than his look his look is a dimensional one it looks rage determined rage in sense of determined the lips and cheek are not very prominent because of the angle we see him and because of his eyes which are eclipsing pretty much everything but however we need to put some indications of his beard his uh, well tended beard now the bags under the eyes we need to make them fit in there and we need to concentrate more on giving him the look in the eyes as you can see one eye is more prominent than the other it's just the way it is and his uh, his eyelids his uh, eyebrows are very his eyebrows are very very dark they leave shades under the under them and we need to concentrate on this as well as creating his giant ears and his giant forehead a forehead which is uh, nevertheless very resilient with the punches and we scaled a bit the facial masses we erased some of his jaw because we don't want to make them too prominent. They don't look prominent from this angle. We're giving some indications where his hair would be. And we're um, creating some facial expressions in there on the forehead. And we're continuing with the body, putting the main contours in there oops okay right like so and we need to see to fit everything in i have a sensation that i make him look more like a latino at this point he looks a bit like chavo guerrero from wwe but we're gonna fix this accordingly to the reference now <clears throat> I need to scale the lips a bit in order to make them look more realistic accordingly and yeah that's what we need to do put some more meat into the inferior lip 
and put the separation line in there and well it's roughly about right now let's proceed with the eye the eye of a tiger <laughs> anyway too much let me first adjust the size of the chin because as you can see he's got quite of a permanent chin also let's take the shoulder and extend it <coughs> now the chin the chin needs to be quite firm as he's a boxer oh oops okay now now the eyes let's see what to do with the eyes first let's move his forehead a bit behind so that it won't look that much like an egg <coughs> looks more like a mountain like a rock or like a stone as it should as it should now let's emphasize the cheekbones and put the shadow in place let's extend the shoulder well let's extend actually both of the shoulders the shoulder of the both characters i mean naturally okay now back to john jr everything's in shape now let's deal with the eyes of iron mike rotate move them aside a bit uh, uh, just about right that's it now a bit more transform in here so okay okay we're getting there we're getting there all good now let's see how are we gonna deal with his eyebrows and his forehead they look already more rocky <clears throat> right so that was today's lessons guys and girls here we are and here we have the result as you can see in the whatever color the corner it might be we have iron mike and on the other hand in the opposite corner we have uh, jones jr and uh well let's draw up the conclusions now as you've been able to see in the process we've been studying the two we have them here in the reference as you can see what we've done is we've approached the reference study it see whatever we can see because after all we're not only deforming face in here but we're caricaturizing we're highlighting massive uh, facial features we are looking for the energy of the two boxers the two legends in the boxing world we're looking for the, t the determination in their eyes we're looking for their uh, rocky features as you can see in here in iron mike's case he looks pretty much like he's belonging uh, engraved in the Rushmore Mountain. Well, I don't mean to say any blasphemy, but that's the truth, you know. You can see that he looks like carved in stone. He's a made of stone. I don't know why they call him iron. Well, I know it is maybe because the iron is stronger than the snow. Like, if you're gonna confront by hitting the stone with the iron, the iron's gonna crack the stone. Yeah, that's true. But however, his features are pretty much made of stones are very compact very powerful so that's what we try to surprise and to emphasize in here also we've been looking for his most prominent features which would be the mouth the lips the rocky cheeks the nose which is a typical boxer nose the i don't know threatening eyes and we wanted to uh, reduce the size of the ears and that's 
no reference to his match with Evander Holyfield, but whatever. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying, such things. Anyway, but let's move forward. In the other side of the screen, we have Jones Jr., who's looking a bit like maybe less rocky, maybe less made of stone, but you can see the huge determination in his eyes. He's got that look, that look which says, I'm gonna kill you in the ring, you know? Aside that look, he has some massive ears, you know, like uh, like the wings of a bat, if you may. But, okay, let's not go into such suggestions. However, aside the ears and the look on his face, you can see that he has a quite massive forehead, so we needed to emphasize this. And we also needed to reduce the size of his mouth because his mouth is pretty much little comparing to those facial features we mentioned earlier. Now, something you need to understand and remember is that even at this stage when we have a background color and the contours and some white carving into the image, we we are not 100% carved in stone with the result, you know. We can always change the shapes, the forms, while evolving with the work. Like, whenever we're gonna color it, and you're gonna see this in the next tutorial, in the sequel of this tutorial, we'll be able to see that uh, we we will do some massive changes depending on the volume. If the volume will be requiring this, we're gonna have to deform even more the result. Don't forget to like this video if you consider you learned something from it. Also, hit the subscribe button and like my Facebook page, which you'll see in the description below. So with all those being said, Again, I wish you happy drawing and cheers.